What's up, YouTube? All right, so me and my roommate had an experience of trying out that PlayStation VR yesterday at GameStop. It was amazing. I really can't find too many things I want to say that's bad about it. Look, I mean, look, yeah, it was all demos and stuff. But one of the things is that I really wanted to check out was like how fluid would the games be? Would it be glitchy? You know, would it um, would graphics be blocky or choppy or stuff like that? Is this really the future? Is this really a you know actual authentic VR experience? And after that. I will have to say the answer is yes, it really is. Um, this is not a gimmick, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a gimmick. Sound the alarms. This isn't the Apple Watch or the Smart Watch. This is a full-blown tablet. This is going to be here. This is going to be here to stay. It's only going to get better and more so than anything else. It's not going to be something that you just buy just because people told you to buy it. This is the one that you actually want to have. This is what you actually want to experience. Um, I had a chance to play that Valkyrie game. And um, it was really, really cool. One of the things that struck me the most was, like, I had a chance, when I turned around, and I got a chance to look everywhere, it, like, you're actually engulfed inside this ship. And I'm flying, and I'm looking at the other ships as I fly by them. I'm looking past. I'm looking through my windows. You can see a little bit of the, um, you know, like, kind of like the debris or the cr uh, dust on your windows and stuff. And I'm, you know, watching my squadron, I mean, squadron as I'm flying by them. It's just, like, really amazing. You know, locking on the mechanisms were pretty good. Um, and one of, the, like, the biggest experiences that I had was, or one of the best experiences I had was when I flew by one of the ships. And I flew by too fast, but I was upside down. And as I flew past him, like, I had looked up. And it just gave me this whole like sense that damn I'm actually inside this atmosphere. I'm looking at these things go around. I'm, I'm turning my head. I'm looking at these ships as they go. Um, I, one thing I didn't want to do is become you know um, mechanical. Like this is what I do inside when I'm regularly gaming, just looking forward, turning the ship, or doing all this other stuff. That's like that's not how this whole thing is supposed to be experienced. That's not how VR is supposed to be experienced. It's really supposed to be an experience for you to turn your head around. It's supposed to be like, hey, I'm looking over here. Like, the screen feels like it's huge. You put it in theater mode. And to see a screen 220 inches, like, is really like sitting inside a movie theater. But more so, like, it was an incredible experience. And everything moved fluidly. It wasn't glitchy. It didn't, it didn't chop up. No, nothing, nothing bad about it. It was a really cool experience. Now, granted, what I do feel bad is just the fact that I didn't pre-order mine. <clears throat> so... When October 13th come around and I will not be having a PlayStation VR, I'm going to have to look at everybody else in Envy. But, I mean, it's all good. Um, I'm going to get mine the next go-around. And I'm definitely going to get mine the next go-around because, you know, it's going to be good. But our duty is to try to do everything that we can to support this technology. And not even just because of Sony, Oculus, or HTC. It's just, hey, if we can get this in the hands of more people, we're talking about the future of gaming. We're talking about the big push forward. This is actually going to happen. You know, remember when like games started coming out in 3D? It's like, hey, we're going into 3D. And one of the biggest problems with that was not everybody had a 3D TV. No one cared to have a 3D TV. Um, you don't want to sit around those glasses looking at a screen that's either halfway across the room or, you know, whatever. But one of the biggest things about this was is that, hey, you got 35 million, I think 35 million people with a PlayStation 4, and the technology is good. This isn't the virtual boy, you know. This isn't nothing that, oh, well, yeah, we're just going to plug it in and people will like it, but they'll put it away. But if we can get this in the hands of at least a quarter of those people, we will start talking about developer, uh, developer uh, support. And if we can get into half of it, then we're talking about the new future of gaming. Y'all remember that commercial with the uh, PlayStation 9 where the, the guy was submerging all his virtual reality stuff? It looked like we're getting there a lot faster than we expected. And, you know, this is, is really good because we're talking about, you know, support from AAA titles. You know, you have games like Call of Duty, you know, Destiny, uh, Ace Combat. You know, those are really exciting games. My personal favorite genre would be uh, racing games because who in the hell doesn't want to go, you know, flying inside a Lamborghini that, you you know, for the most part kind of feel like you're there. Um, Grand Theft Autos or, you know, 
Now, granted, I'm not looking forward to like the Resident Evils or the Diablos or something like that. That's gonna be terrifying to see, you know, monsters at that scale trying to kill you. But I mean, it is what it is. It's a little bit something for everyone. So, um, or sports games. You know, it would be really, really good to be able to actually go out there and play um, football games or basketball games in virtual reality, which is kind of tragic at the same time because you literally could pick up a ball to go do the shit and burn some calories at the same time. But if you're like me, and you got the basketball skills of a paraplegic, then you need video games to do it. So, um, or even quadriplegic, uh, quadriplegic, is that it? From the neck down? Yeah. Yeah, that's about how bad I am in basketball. But yeah, it, the PlayStation VR is a real deal, man. Is, is really the real deal if you if you haven't experienced it yet um i'm out here in sacramento california for right now uh the actual representative from sony that actually tours these he bounces back and forth between best buy and game shops so the game shops around the city and i think it's the same thing with other major cities or maybe even the other cities around the country just you know check that out try to see where they have the playstation vr tour you know they'll be the like i said best buy game shop go there try it out man check it out and then if anything comment you know, below, let me know how you like it. If you had a chance to experience it already, go ahead and comment. Um, but anything, but anyway, I got a whole bunch of other content. I'm definitely gonna start showing up here a little bit more. So hit the subscribe button. You hear a lot more things from me and that guy back there. And uh, we'll get back to you.